Hi guys, welcome back to the Otter server. So in last week's video, I showed you guys how to access the remote console application in an old Supermicro X8 system. And those are typically pretty problematic now in 2023 because they use an antiquated uh, old uh, Java web start application. And so I showed you guys how to work around that by downloading an old version of Firefox and how to reconfigure your Java in order to enable that to work. And although that method does work and I have been using that, uh, somebody pointed out to me in the comments, going uh, a, a viewer by the name GodX, uh, pointed out that uh, you could use IPMI View. And I had known about IPMI View, but I always thought that it was primarily a Windows only application, and that was basically it, and I don't really use Windows, so it didn't really apply to me. However, I took another look once that person made that comment, and I found out that actually there are various uh, versions of IPMI View that work on Linux, and on Android and on iOS. So this is actually, I think, a better solution. And so in today's video, I wanna show you how to use IPMI View to access the remote console. And this is going to be much, much easier than what I showed you last week. So uh, if you watched last week's video and you're using that method, definitely you wanna check out today's video because I think this is the better method. All right, so now before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people can benefit from this video. And if you like server-related topics, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so let's get into it. So IPMI View is a application provided by Supermicro themselves. So I'm just gonna show you where you can download this. I'll just go to IPMI View. So I'm just searching for a Supermicro IPMI view and you'll see the first hit on Google here is a page on Supermicro's website. And if you scroll down, let's see, here we are. Uh, we go to download. So, okay, so before I even click on the download here, I just wanted to point out that this is available on Android, uh, on Google Play, and also for iOS on the Apple Store. So now I don't really like uh, accessing remote console applications on my phone just because you know everything's really small and it's hard to view and hard to type uh, especially since I like to do things via CLI so you know it's not the best uh, interface for doing that kind of work but if you are say out and about and you need to access your server to relaunch a server or whatever it is you might need to do that might be sufficient and you know you, you can still do that just from your phone without having to carry a laptop or anything like that so anyway i just want to point that out but if you click on download this will get you to the page to download the uh, desktop os versions and so here you can see ipmi view there is a windows version which i had known about but since i don't use windows i couldn't use it but there's also a linux version and so I've already downloaded this because their server is really slow. And so I just want to pre-download this and not do it uh, while I'm recording here. But anyway, go ahead and click on download and follow the procedure to get whatever package it is you want um, to download. So the cool thing is that basically this will work on um, most OSs, uh, well, at least between Windows and Linux, right? Okay, so once you have that downloaded and installed on your computer, which I already have, I'll go ahead and launch it right here. All right, so here is the IPMI view application. And so I don't have anything configured yet, so I'm gonna just walk you through that really quickly. But basically I have two servers up right now. I have the same Supermicro X8 system from uh, last week. And I also have another system that I'm playing, playing around with right now. It's a X10 uh, generation system. But um, anyway, so in order to add that server to IPMI view, you have to go to file new system. And uh, I'll just name this, this is a XADTHIF, I believe is the motherboard uh, model. I'll just name it after the motherboard. And I have that on 238 right now. All right, so now I have that system in here. I'm also gonna go ahead and add the other system as well. So I think that was, it's a Super Mario X, uh, X10 SDV. And I have that on, uh, what was that, 218. All right. So now all you have to do is double click on that and it's gonna ask you for the authentication credentials. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and I just have it on the default right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and just type in admin admin and log in. And so now it says it's basically connected. And so once it is connected down here at the bottom of the, uh, the UI for this application, you'll see these tabs and all these tabs will give you various access uh, to the IPMI interface. So if I click on event logs, I can see all the event logs. If I click on sensors, it will gather all the sensor information. And so if you're someone who actually likes uh, graphical um, interfaces, you might actually like this more than um, going through a, a CLI interface. So I've got various graphs here showing the various uh, sensor readings and, and whatnot. So, so that's kind of cool. But the thing that I really want to show you is to gain uh, the uh, remote console, and that's over here under KVM console. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and you'll see that it will take a few seconds here. There we go. So there is the remote console. And so I can, oops, I can log in here. All right, so and there you have it. So it works. And basically, IPMI View packages, it's, this is still Java, by the way. So IPMI View packages its own kind of bundled Java. And so fortunately, that is already kind of set up to just work. And so I think that's why I think this is probably the better solution, uh, just because you don't have to muck with Java separately and go get an old version of some browser and all that stuff. It's basically kind of all there for you. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. I mean, this is, I think, so much easier than what I was doing before. Thank you uh, to the viewer who pointed this out. I did not realize that IPMI View uh, had a Linux version. I always thought it was just a Windows only thing. Um, and, and again, also, um, it's also available on Android and iOS. So if you are trying to do a little bit of server management from your phone remotely and you don't have a computer or laptop with you, you know, I certainly can see the uh, usefulness of having uh, that as well. All right, so the other thing I wanted to point out was um, I've been kind of playing around with this application a little bit. And for the uh, X10, so I'm also going to authenticate to that one. Okay, so that's now connected. And I'm going to go over here to um, K, uh, KVM console tab. And it gives me the option to launch the KVM console with the Java plugin. And so in the X10 generation uh, of super micro boards and above and newer, they, they re-implemented this remote console application with HTML5 instead of using Java, which I think is great. So over here in the uh, normal web browser, this is just Chrome, I'm accessing the same server. And you'll notice um, if you go to remote, uh, remote control, um, IKVM, and I click on this, it just pops up this. So there's no Java involved. There's no, you know, do you, how do you want to open this JNLP file or anything like that? It just works because it's HTML5 and it's just, you know, using the browser's native capabilities. And so this is really great if you're just using the browser. But one thing I noticed when you're using H, uh, this IPMI view, is that they give you this option to use the old Java plugin uh, and the HTML5 option is grayed out and down here it says that basically it looks like you need to um, add a license at least for the X11 platforms. I don't know about, the, this is an X10, so I don't know if this also requires a license and that's why that's grayed out. So anyway, I just want to point out the IPMI view. I mean, this is great, especially for the older systems. On the newer systems, it seems like you might have to add some sort of license key in order to um, gain the access to the, the newer uh, uh, remote console application via HTML5 and stuff like that. So I, anyway, I, I don't know. Um, I don't have an X11 system to, to try this out, but at least on X10, it's grayed out and it's giving me this me message. So I just wanted to point that out. If you were planning to use this and you have multiple generations of super micro servers, uh, you know, just wanted to let you know that. I mean, it'll still work by the way. So I'll, here, I'll go ahead and just kind of show you. Click on launch KVM with the Java plugin. So that will still work. It does take a little bit of time to launch. 
Just waiting. Waiting. Still waiting. Oh, there we go. All right. So as you can see, it still does work and it basically looks like a Java application. All right. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that it, it does work um, for the newer platforms. If you wanted to take advantage of the HTML5 through IPMI view, it might require some sort of license key or something like that. I, I don't know for sure, but that's what the message seems to indicate. All right, guys. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, any of you guys out, especially if you're using one of the older Supermicro systems, I think this method is much, much easier than downloading the old Firefox and Java and, and adding the exception uh, site list and all that stuff. So I just wanted to follow up from last week's video with this video to show you guys a much easier way to accomplish basically the same thing. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing if you like server related content. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I've got the largest selection of pre-flashed HPA IT mode SAS controllers for your true NAS, ZFS, or Unraid builds. So go check out the link down in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.